Hi everyone, so I have not posted in probably a month or two or three or something, I don't know, I didn't check, but um, I know lately I've been feeling kind of, uh, I don't know, chubby, as stupid as that sounds, because I know I'm not, but um, you know, it's just a feeling. Um, still not a whole lot has been happening. Um, I decided I should do an update because a lot of people have been subscribing to my videos and I haven't been putting anything out. So, uh, for people who want to see updates, here you go, here's one. And I should be doing more, and, um, about that whole feeling chubby thing, um, I kinda got over that really quickly today, because, uh, I usually, unlike my fatter times of the year, you know, like, October and November happens, unfortunately, because November's my birthday and I don't want to be fat, um, I usually weigh around, I don't know, maybe like 140-ish, and I'm 5'10". So, whatever that means, and I don't really have a whole lot of muscle on my body whatsoever. But, um, um, on my, on good months, like, um, when I'm feeling, like, healthy and look good, I'm around 134, 135, and, um, today, I went and stepped on a scale for the first time in maybe two weeks or so, and it told me, after a couple seconds of staring at it, waiting for it to give me the, the readout, and, you know, those agonizing seconds. Um, it said 129 pounds and, or 129.2 pounds, which I cannot remember the last time I was under 130. I don't know how that happened. I've been, uh, eating a lot healthier, but I've still been having those times where, like, I'll snack on something that I really don't think I should be, or I'll go out and eat something, like, really fattening and or eat something uh, sugary and fattening, you know, right before bed, and I never eat, like, after 9 o'clock, because I go to bed around midnight, usually, and I want to be able to burn off those calories before I go to bed, and nothing really gets burned off, but, um, so I guess that's good, but I have been, like, doing push-ups and sit-ups and lifting weights every now and again to just kind of, like, build something there, because I really hate how skinny my arms are. And I guess that's not really doing anything because I, I weigh 129 fucking pounds. Um, well, I think I might have a job. I'm not sure. Um, like, they don't say count your chickens before they hatch, or I don't know if that applies to this. But anyway, um, I saw something on Craigslist saying that the Smith Tower, which in case you don't know, which a lot of people in even in Seattle don't know, is it Seattle's oldest skyscraper. It was built in 1914. And when it was built, it was the t fourth tallest skyscraper in the world. And they advertised it saying it was the fourth, it was the tallest skyscraper in the world outside New York City, but that was a lie. Um, yeah, so I faxed them my resume. They, he called me like later that day and asked me to come in the next day to go talk to them. And he didn't really ask me anything like, um, about my work experience or my past and stuff. Like, he saw that I worked at the Space Needle and asked me a little about that. But he didn't ask me, like, why I don't work there anymore. He didn't ask me why I didn't work at the past places anymore. But, um, so I talked to him for a while. He showed me the, uh, the observation deck. And that building is so cool. It was built in 1914, as I said, and they still have their original elevators. You know, back then when, um, they had to, like, use those, uh, pulley things to make the floors go up and they have like the gate that the guys have to open and close and they have elevator operators still in there and um I think like every floor and all the walls are um covered with Alaskan marble and the elevators are like plated with gold and it's so pretty it's a very nice building and the top floor the observation deck has um it's called the Chinese room it has um original Chinese architecture like that was sent over from the king of China for, or someone like that, um, back in 1913 or ish when it was being built. But, um, yeah, so he showed me the building and then I went and talked to him for a little while more. He asked me about, you know, I don't know, just random stuff. And then his boss came in and I started talking to them and she was like this really nice, uh, African American lady. And so we were all just talking and then, um, he was, so he was like, so what should we do? And she's like, well, I can tell a good face when I see one. So, um, just, we'll do like a background check and then we'll go from there. So I filled out the stuff for the background check and he called me a few days later, said everything was clear because I really haven't done anything. So why wouldn't it be? 
And he asked me for some references, so I gave those to him um, Friday afternoon, yesterday afternoon. And he said, thank you, and I guess I'll be hearing after that. And he said, if everything uh, looks good, then we'll be continuing on from there, looking at hours. So I think I pretty much have the job. I'm pretty confident that I do. And it sounds like a fun job. Um, what I would be doing would be, I'd be on the observation deck, and I would be just selling stuff. And I, from the sounds of it, it sounds like I'm going to be the only person on the observation deck. Like, I'd be cashiering at the little tiny gift shop corner that they have up there. And, um, which sounds kind of odd, like I might get bored. But I don't know, it sounds kind of neat. I might be a fun way to entertain myself. And, um, so what I would do would be sell stuff and then tell people some information about what they're looking at, about um, the Smith Tower's history, about the history of Seattle, um, and a bunch of stuff like that. And I can do that. I mean, I've worked at the Space Needle. And um, I love, 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 love architecture. So I already know quite a bit about the Smith Tower and a lot of other skyscrapers in Seattle that are near the Smith Tower. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that goes OK. Today's St. Patrick's Day. And by the time this gets uploaded and stuff, you'll probably be all drunk and stuff. So um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe, I guess. Um, I had a story I wanted to talk to you about, also about um, a blue ball kind of situation, but I don't think I will because this is getting a little bit long. I don't know how long I've been talking, but... Um, all right, well, I'm just going to upload this. No fancy editing or anything because I need to get ready and g start going out and stuff. Um, I guess I'll talk to you all later because apparently I'm not fat. And have a good one.